Hey, I'm Greg. And I'm Jimmy. And Honda Racing F1 have asked us to show you exactly how their master engineers achieve energy saving as big as this. Right, now that I've put this bike through its paces. Greg. Oh. Jamie, we're good. Thanks, thanks, mate. You can go home. Unbelievable. Okay, even a novice like myself on a track like this will use my brakes enough to heat up those wheel rims. Braking is the simple act of stopping movement. If we actually look at Greg's wheels using a thermal imaging camera, you can just see the heat there. Movement or kinetic energy is transferred into heat via friction, just like the disc brakes on your car. But in Formula One, the engineers have found a neat way to turn that kinetic energy into electrical energy without losing it all as heat energy. They do it while the car is braking using a system called the MGUK, and they can then reuse that energy for a boost of power when they need it. To demonstrate to you how the MGUK works, Greg, we're going to replace these. What? I need, I need them. <laughs> Oh. oh, he's in trouble now. <laughs> <laughs> the technology in the MG UK is very similar to some engineering that's been around for years, the dynamo. Now, how it works is dead easy. The wheel turns the end of the dynamo, which turns a magnet inside a coil of wire. And that changing magnetic field induces a current, electricity, inside that coil of wire. So when you engage, Greg, the dynamo against the tyre and give it a spin, <laughs> It creates Ooh. about three joules of electricity, enough to illuminate that light. Oh. But here's the thing. When you engage that dynamo, you create a resistance on the wheel, slowing it down. And in Formula One, you do not want to slow that car down at all. Unless you use that resistance when you do want to slow down, use it for braking, and at the same time, convert that kinetic energy into electrical energy. That is what the MG UK does. Now, one dynamo isn't going to create a lot of braking resistance but eight might. And I've kind of been busy in the workshop, Greg, and created this bike with four dynamos on the front instead of the brakes. Nice. And another four on the back instead of the brakes. Love it. Anything is, Greg, it's not been tested. You ready, buddy? No, I don't have any brakes. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> Give it a go. No brakes, you absolute nutter. I'm off. Okay, hit the brakes. I'm breaking the brakes. We got light. Right. We got light. Beautiful. You created a light. It really didn't stop you so much, but we got light. It did. It did slow me down. It did slow so, you down. So, so that kinetic energy was turned into electrical energy. Now, in Formula One, the rules state that under the braking process, the MG UK can create and store up to two megajoules of energy per lap. That's a fair bit more than you just generated. Quite a lot more. Now, that energy is stored in a battery and can be used for a power boost later. We should do that. We should. Let's capture the energy. I got an idea because it's time to supersize. Yes. Let's go. OK, so on these bikes, I've replaced the eight dynamos and put on this massive motor. Now, that motor is connected to the rear brake, so when that's applied, its resistance increases and it generates electricity. That electricity is stored in this one whopping capacitor. Also, I've added some lights so you can actually see when we're braking. Are we going to do this? Stick that on, my friend. Oh, reckon you can keep up? You've not got a hope in hell. <laughs> Three. Two, one. Go, go, go. Come on. I got this foot. I got it. No, 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 no. I'm going to have you. I don't know what the foot doesn't realise that it's not about winning this race. Ugh. It's about storing the most braking energy. So it's time to get on the brakes. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> OK, you may have won that race, but the real race was to see who could generate the most stored electricity via braking. What? I won! You'll see. Game on, my friend. Game on. But that, that, was a, that was a fair and square over the line first. What are you on about? Now, the MG UK has two roles. The first is to generate electrical energy. And the second is to use that electrical energy to power the wheels when the car is not braking. So, 
just like Formula One, we are going to use some of our stored braking energy for horsepower. Yeah, sort of. Outside nighttime scale electrics. It's a thing. It is a thing. Okay, all set. This isn't a race of speed, it's a race of distance. The last one to run out of juice wins. <laughs> Three, two, one. Now, Formula One rules state that four megajoules of stored energy from the battery can be used by the MG UK every lap. That works out as about 160 brake horsepower for 33 seconds a lap. Come on, come on. Oh, come on! I'm still going, I'm still I'm going, going, I'm still going. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Stored energy and Greg's had a heart attack. Double win. <laughs> and that, that is the MG UK. A neat way of reusing the energy that you would normally lose through braking. And also a really neat way to make one thing do two things. This all contributes in less fuel use, smaller, lighter engines and overall better racing performance. Next time, join me and him. We're going to be looking at another way to save fuel and boost power. It's the MGU-H. H.